So welcome back to part two because I do remember I didn't even get into the rest of the freaky cards. Nor did I end it out with my angel numbers. So let's get you some messages. Father, I come to your prayer asking that you give me some messages on why the collective's person or past person is cuckoo for cocoa puffs over them right now. Give me some messages. Give me some messages. Give me some messages regarding your past person and why they can't get them off of their mind. Like a Neo song. Give me some messages. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I'm hearing some nasty stuff, but I'm gonna leave it alone. It says, our sex run through my head all day. Confirmation. R like a motorcycle running through their head all day. Cause they adore your sensuality, baby. You got that femininity that drives them wild. And if it's a masculine, your masculinity drives her wild. Give me some more messages. Why is this past person or present person currently in for the collective? Why they? Mm -mm. <laughs> Somebody wants you to put a nipple in their mouth. They miss your teeth. They miss how cute they were, how big and juicy and voluptuous. Or if they small, they miss how small they were, how how big it made their hands feel. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I ain't lying to you. It says, I, <laughs> I hold on to your energy. But at the bottom, it says, take it back. That's what you did. Took back your energy. That's why they got, that's what got them crazy. They up in their head all day thinking about you. They holding on to y'all memories, y'all energy. If they got something of yours, like socks or panties, anything, they hold on to that memory. They hold on to that keepsake for like, <sighs> It's like gold to them. But they're no longer in your energy. So this telling me this is a past person. And they ain't getting no more. So that the supply is gone. The crack is gone. And they fiending for your love. Mm, 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 mm. Your sexual energy is out of this world. What I say, if you're a masculine, that masculinity packed with and knowing what you're doing in bed, got them cuckoo. If you're feminine, your femininity, your sensuality, and the fact that you know what you're doing, got them gone. Because mm -mm -mm. what? They still so thirsty for you. Need They need a cup of your love. They out there like this. Just give me a drop. I'll be fine. Till tomorrow. Till tonight. Because what? They're obsessed with you. And it ain't never gonna change. Because what? You and I are forever love. They feel like not only they miss out on forever love, they, they know and feel it. Y'all had love. That wasn't just sex. That was love making. Something that they're not getting out of here. They're not finding nobody like that. It's just... Wham, wham, thank you, ma'ams. One night stand, sneaky links. But with you, it was end all, be all. Tantric. Love making. Because you got them sprung and they still sprung. Think I'm lying. Because I know. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they want to sex you down before work. They miss them days of waking you up or... Making you late for work. Trying to get your food ready for lunch. And here they come, bending you over the sink. Woo-wee! Mm-mm. <laughs> and they want to be your man again. And if it's a woman, I want to be your woman again. Because it's past tense. And if this is a present, oh, they definitely want to be yours. What you be doing? Oh, baby. They ain't letting no, they ain't letting nobody get near it. Standing guard. Yeah. That's mine. <laughs> what? 
because they wake up so hard for you still. And when they masturbate or when they play with themselves, guess who name they screaming out? Yours. Not nobody else. It's you that have the thought to when they come in. Mm. Because what? Your moan sets them on fire. They still think about how you sounded, how you sound, what you say, what you said. And if this is a present person, ooh, baby. That's what makes them go harder or softer or longer. Mm, you know, turn this person in my head. I heard, you know, turn this person to a real eater <laughs> and a real pleaser. They want to make sure you good first before they even come or y'all come together. Step on me, slap on me, and sit on me. They loved how you dominated them because they could be submissive with you and not feel judged. You gave them the best of both worlds. You let their masculinity and their femininity fly. You were open, which made them open. And them legs open. <laughs> they miss sex in the shower with you because y'all were passionate, touching on their face, watch, washing their back, washing down their body. Even drying them off when y'all are done. And if it's the present person, oh, they love you. Literally. After y'all have that good old, good old love making, y'all can take it to the shower for a round two. This person is blown away by you. Because mm. your emotional intelligence also turns them on. You make my soul and body come alive. You're not just the physical baby. You're mental. You're in the whole package. An Xfinity sign. Divine feminine, divine masculine you are. And they ain't had nothing like that. You don't shock this person. Mm -hmm. mm. They, they say they miss how they used to, you used to sit in front of them while they play with it. They miss those intimate, close moments. And if this is a present person, while y'all watching TV or that movie y'all supposed to be paying attention to, them hands get defined a little. But later on in the day, they think about that. They think about how y'all can turn anything into something sexual. How y'all bond is unbreakable. Because they sleep peacefully in your arms. The past person, they ain't slept good in a minute. And if it's the present person, they sleep like a baby with you. Mm. And that's your sexual message on why they going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over you. Now let's get you a closing angel number. Because baby, you a star. In the bedroom and outside of it. Y'all give me an angel number. Mm. We got a couple. And we gonna take them because we not stingy over here. If it's a message, it's a message. Mm. I heard creative, well, creative energy, number seven. But I heard in my head, you creative in the bedroom. Real creative. You, you the type of person that'll take some shoelaces and use them as handcuffs. I'm going to steal that one. <laughs> the feather. You have a connection with spiritual with the spiritual realm as in divinity. What I say? Divine feminine, divine masculine you are. 2020. Stability and security. You are the full package. Not only are you stable mentally, physically, and financially. You have security. You're spiritually protected in everything that you do. So everything you touch turns to gold. So imagine what you, what type of feeling and what you do to a person. You make them better and feel better. Next, spiritual cleansing and renewal. You need to cleanse your energy because you got somebody holding on to you with a force of a toddler. And you know how hard, you know how hard they be holding on. 
wild bunny means good luck is on your side through it all baby you're good luck you know what i'm saying everything you touch turns to gold you are the master okay. the mouse but with all that being said save your money you may or will fall on hard times just because you're up right now and things are going good for you right now there's always a lesson so save some money up put something away for that rainy day dog barking your prayers are being answered everything you want is coming to you and even if it is a person it's coming to you anything you want ask god don't let nobody make you feel like god ain't up there he is and he's sitting there waiting on you to ask him for some stuff he ain't doing nothing ask him for something because it's gonna be answered and it may not be when you want it but it's gonna be on time and sometimes he give it to you when you want it because that's the perfect time divine timing dogs being on the right path and not being alone you're on your right path and god he with you as well as angels and ancestors you're not alone you walk with god that's why everything you touch turn to gold that's why everything that you ask for comes on to, it comes to you every you attract you don't chase number nine so take a risk and never be afraid to take a leap because God got you and you're blessed so you wouldn't take that risk or that leap if it wasn't going to be in your best and your highest good Fox somebody around you may be sly sneaky but it's also saying get in touch with your wild side don't be afraid to let your colors show you're a rainbow and everybody loves a rainbow because at the end of the rainbow, what is it? It's some gold, blessings, gifts, prosperity. Because what did I just say? Prosperity, the swan. You're a swan spirit. It's owed to you. And if, and if you feel like, okay, I'm not, you know, pro like prosperous right now, you will be. You just got to take a risk. Take your first leap. Cause God got you, and it's it's what He wants you to do. He want to feel. He want to. He wants you to jump into the pool of your money. Go claim what's yours. The duck spirit, lighten up and and enjoy life more, as well as a new relationship is coming. What I say, that new person that you got, or may not have yet the new one that you have is about to tell you that they want you to be their person and if you're not in a relationship you finna get a new person but meanwhile enjoy the little things in life and lighten up be happy don't be bitter because bitter don't attract nothing but bitter remember that the geese so stay confident within yourself because your confidence is what attracts everything baby you glow just like i'm going right now it's an inner that shows on your outer and that's beautiful and what are people attracted to beautiful things so have confidence within yourself and the last message is the peacock New beginnings, protection, self-expression, and a spiritual awakening. Baby, you awaken to your true self. Not even just your true self, just your life, your path. And on that path, you got protection. You got your angels by your side, and they locked up and ready to go. And your self-expression, your creativity. People love you for that. So thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate all the love y'all been giving me. It makes me feel so sweet and so loved. And just a big old hug from all of you. And um, 
I'm always going to take you off constructive criticism. So never be afraid to be like, um, Nadi, you need to do this. Or I feel like it'd be better if you did this. I'm never going to make you feel like your opinion doesn't matter. Unless you want some hate shit. I love y'all and I'll see y'all later. Bye.